You know, people love it uh, when I ask about books. I don't know if, if uh, books, whether fiction, nonfiction, technical, or completely non-technical had an impact on your life throughout, if there's anything you would recommend, or even just mention as something that gave you an insight or moved you in some way. So, okay. <laughs> so I don't know if I can recommend, because in some sense, you almost had to be Italian or to be such a scholar. But being Italian, one thing that really impressed me tremendously is the Divine Comedy. It is a medieval poem, a very long poem, mm -hmm. divided in three parts, Hell, Purgatory, and Paradise, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the non-trivial story of a middleman man gets into a crisis, personal crisis, and then out of this crisis, he purifies, makes a catharsis, purifies himself more and more and more until he's become uh, capable of actually meeting God, okay? And that is actually a complex story. So you have to get some very sophisticated language, maybe Latin at that point, right? we are talking about 1200s um, uh, Italy, right? Um, uh, in, uh, in Florence. And this guy instead, he chose his own dialect not spoken outside his own immediate circle, right? Um, um, a Florentine dialect. And actually, he, Dante really made Italian. Italian. He was, hmm. and, and so I said, how can you express such a sophisticated things and so this? And then the point is that these words that uh, nobody actually knew because they were essentially dialect. And plus a bunch of very intricate rhymes in which they had to rhyme the things. And turns out that by getting meaning from the things that you rhyme, you essentially guess what the world means, <laughs> and you invent Italian, and you communicate by almost osmosis what you want. Yeah. It's a miracle of communication. In a dialect, a very poor language, very unsophisticated, to express a very sophisticated situation. I love it. People who love it, and Italians are not Italian, but, but I, what, I, what I got of it is that, you know, very often, limitations are our strength. Because if you limit yourself at a very poor language, somehow you get out of it and you achieve even better form of communication if you're using a hyper-sophisticated literary language with lots of resonance from the prior books so that you can actually instantaneously quote. He couldn't quote anything because nothing was written in Italian before him. So I really felt that uh, limitations are our strength. And uh, I think that rather than complaining about the limitations, we should embrace them because l if we embrace our limitation, limited as we are, we find very creative solutions that people with less limitation we have, we would not even think about it. Oh, so limitation is a kind of superpower if you choose to yes. see it that way. Uh, is there, since you speak both languages, is there something that's lost in translation to you? Is there something you can express in Italian that you can't in English and vice versa maybe? Is there um, something you could say to the musicality of the language? I mean, I, from, I've been to Italy a few times and uh, I'm not sure if it's the actual words, but it's, it's the people are certainly very, um, there's body language too. There's just, the, their whole being is language. <laughs> so I don't know if uh, you miss some of that when you're speaking English in this country? Yes. In fact, actually, I certainly, I, I'm, uh, I miss it. And uh, somehow it was a sacrifice that I made consciously. By the time you know, I arrived, I knew that uh, this, I was not going to express myself um, at that level. And, uh, and it was actually a sacrifice because uh, given to you have uh, also your um, uh, mother tongue is Russian. So you know that you can be very expressive in your mother tongue and not very expressive in this new tongue, in new yeah. language. And then what people think of you in the new language, because when the precise of expression of things, it generates, you know, it shows you know, elegance or it shows, you know, um, knowledge or it shows as a census or it shows as a caste or education, whatever it is. So all of a sudden I found myself on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, it, it, <laughs> So I had to fight all my way up, back up. 
And uh, but what am I saying? I I go yeah, back it's to fascinating, it. right? I, uh, their, their limitations are actually our strength. In fact, it's a trick to limit yourself to exceed, right? And you know, there are examples in history. If, if you think about, you know, Hernan Cortez, right? He goes to invade Mexico. He has what a few hundred uh, people with him, and uh, he has a um, hundred thousand people in arms on the other side. First thing he does. He limits himself. He sinks his own ship. There is no return. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and at that point, he actually managed uh, That's really to come profound. up victorious. I, I actually, first of all, that's inspiring to me. <laughs> I feel like I have quite a few limitations, but more practically on the Russian side, I'm going to try to do a couple of really big and really tough interviews in Russian. Uh, once COVID lifts a little bit, I'm traveling to Russia. And... I'll keep your advice in mind <laughs> that the limitations is a kind of superpower. We should use it to our advantage because you do feel less, like you're not able to convey your wisdom in, in, in the Russian language. Because I, I moved here when I was 13. So you don't, you know, the parts of life you live under a certain language are the parts of life you're able to communicate. You know, I became, I became a thoughtful, deep, thoughtful human in English. Yes, but the, the the pain from World War II, this, the, the music of the people, that was instilled with me in Russian. So I can carry both of those and there's limitations in both. I can't say philosophically profound stuff in Russian, but I can't in English express like that melancholy feeling of like right. the people. And so combining those two, I'll, I'll somehow- oh, beautifully said. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, this is great. Yes, I totally understand you, yes.